Okay, sales and tax word problems are most popular when you're shopping, how to figure out what you have to pay if there's a sale or if you're in, you're in a state where there's a tax. So, one thing I have here, for example, if you have a sale of 25% off or a tax of 5% tax, how do we figure out the cost? If you read this, it is helpful to figure out what percentage you will pay to figure out the new cost. You can do these in two different ways. You can say, okay, it's 25% off. So find 25% and subtract. The other thing you could do, okay, that's the first way. The second thing you would do is say, okay, if it's 25% off, I'm taking that off, I really have to pay 75%. So you can just find 75%. Okay, either way. Same thing with a tax. If it's 5% tax, you can find 5% and add it on to your original price. Or you could say, okay, I have to pay my 100% plus 5. I have to pay 105%. So you just find 105%. Either way works. Okay. This first one, I'll show you both ways. So the first way, all right, it's 25% off. So find 25% of the original price of the coat is $75. So of your 75, this gives you the discount. I am going to reduce here. 25 over 100 is 1 fourth. So when I cross multiply, 4x equals 75. Divide by 4, x equals $18.75. That is my savings. So what is your discounted price? 75 minus 18.75 is 56.25. Okay, simple enough. Now, looking at it the other way, if it's 25% off, I really am going to pay 75%. So 75 over 100 is, and I'm looking on a coat of $75, is my X. Reduce here, uh, 25 goes in three times, 25 goes in four times, so I have 4X equals 3 times 75, 4x, 3 times 75 is 225, divide by 4, that gives me the $56.25. So either way works. Okay, number two, sales tax on a $79 jacket is 5%. Find the total cost of the jacket. Um, what am I going to pay? I'm going to pay 100 plus my 5% or 105%. So I'm just going to figure that out. 105 over 100, and this is of a $79 jacket. Looks like that. Cross multiply, 100x equals 105 times 79, which is 8,295. Divide by 100, I ha really have to pay $82.95. Okay, just one of those things you have to be careful. If you go into a store with $80 and think, oh, I can buy the $79 jacket, there's a 5% tax in that state, you can't. You're going to be short. All right, so that's why it's good to know how to figure out percentage and, you know, sales and tax. Percentage off or an additional amount you have to pay. All right, let's look at some more examples. Number three, a sp skateboard costs $89. If you have a coupon for 20% off, how much will you save? Well, how much will you save is your 20%. Okay, so you need to figure out, you're going to save 20%. Just find your 20% of the $89. So it looks like this. I can simplify. 20 goes into 100 five times and then cross multiply. 5x equals 1 times 89. Divide by 5, x equals $17.80. That is how much you save. All depends on what the question is asking you. Typically, I would do, oh, I only have to pay 80%, find my 80%, but this is saying, how much will you save? So make sure you answer the question. All right? Number four, you are buying a pair of jeans for $65. There's a sale going on in which you can choose if you want $10 off or 25% off. Which would you choose? Well, $10 off, that's one way to look at it, or 25%. Let's figure out what 25% is, and then you'll know where do you get more off. 
Okay, so 25 and 100, you're going to reduce to 1 and 4. Cross multiply, 4x equals 65. Divide by 4, you get $16.25 off your original price. So which would you rather, $10 off or 25% off? Yeah, you'd rather the 25% off. Okay. Number five, a pair of jeans were discounted 15%. If you paid $38.50 for them, what was the original price? Hmm, a little tricky on this one. They were discounted 15%, so what did you actually pay? 100 minus 15, you paid 85%. And you paid $38.50, so 85% of the original price is your 3850. So you have 85 over 100 is 3850. You need to find the original price. Okay? Uh, so this one depends if you just leave it without reducing. You have 85x. 100 times 3850 is 3850. Divide that by 85. You get x equals $45.29. So that is what the original price was. All right. So a lot of different variations of ways to ask these problems. What you always can come back to is percent over 100 equals is over f. All right. And then just figure out what percent you have to pay and do it that way. Okay. Here are some you try. There's a couple problems on here. Go ahead, pause it, try them out, and we'll go over them in the next class.